The goal of this video is to show a supervisor the logging on process a participant experiences while simple we know questions will arise. Once the supervisor emails the chosen participants instructions how to log on to the learning site, they can do so from any computer any time of the day. If a participant is at a remote plant where internet access can be very problematic, that person can log on at another location, perhaps at another plant, perhaps at home, even perhaps at a public library. When participants log on, he or she will see the same two boxes their supervisor does. The participant types in the same username as everyone else. It's always that five digit number because that number ties back to the actual purchase. So it's a record of an individual's efforts and they will be listed with all the other participants in your company's records for that 30 day streaming period. All participants also enter the same participants password. This also links one individual to the whole group's collective record. The password is always concrete with the three tag on numbers. This simple repetitive logging on makes it easy for a supervisor to help an individual or even another participant to step up to the plate. Remember all of the learners logging on to the same lesson in the same 30-day period enter the same username and same password. As simple as this is, we know there's going to be participant error. As a result, we'd like to share some of the most common ones as well as their solutions. So you ask, what happens if a participant checks the supervisor box or types the incorrect username or password? He's going to receive an error message, just like the one on the screen, and it's going to tell him he does not have access to the lesson. The solution is simple. He logs on again and enters the correct information. So what if you have a participant who logs on after the streaming period has ended? The participant will get a message that will show him he does not have access to the learning site because the time has expired. This will happen even if all the licenses were not used in the 30-day period. So if you look here, even though three licenses were not used, the time has expired. So this 18th person logging on no longer has access. And that's why a supervisor can go pull up a report at any time, see how things are going, and then manage the process for everybody on his team. Finally, once the number of purchase licenses have been used, Anyone after that is not going to be able to log on to the learning site either. In this case, it might only be day 10 of the 30-day period, but the licenses are used. So the most obvious solution is for the supervisor to simply buy another 30-day window and start the clock all over again. When he does that, he will receive a brand new email confirmation, a new username, and a new password. It will link to the new purchase. So let's go back to the point where participant logs on successfully. This is the screen he'll see. It shows the video's title, in this case, Backing Accident Prevention Program, and how many viewing days are left for him in the streaming period to watch the lesson. He will also see, in bold red, that a quiz starts immediately after he watches the video. Once the viewer clicks the mouse on Start Here, the actual video lesson begins. The first thing that happens is a screen pops up asking the participant to type in his name. What's typed in the box is the name that shows up on your master training record. Once done, then the participant clicks on the blue button to play the video lesson. The video lesson is approximately 20 to 25 minutes long. A person can stop viewing the lesson at any time and log back onto the site within the 30 day viewing period. The only time access to the video will be denied within the 30-day time frame is if the wrong username or password is typed or if the amount of licenses logged on exceed the amount purchased. And we've already covered that. To learn more about NRMCA's safety learning programs and how to use this simple online learning system, please contact Jacques Jenkins. He can help you navigate through NRMCA's product and website.